As we think about the feeding of the 5,000, a very familiar story in the Scripture, we see two different perspectives on the crowd that day in front of Jesus and His disciples. As Jesus viewed that crowd, the Scripture says that He had compassion upon them. As the disciples saw that crowd, they began asking, how can we feed them? There's no way that we can feed them. So there were two different questions that were considered that day. Jesus was considering the question, what does the Father want us to do? And the Scripture says that in His mind, He knew what He wanted to do. He wanted them to feed them. But the disciples were asking the question, how much is it going to cost? There's no way that we can afford this. There's no way we can do this. In this segment, we're going to focus upon the need to develop a budget process that includes vision alignment, development, and promotion. We want to encourage you to ask the right question as you develop your budget. What does God want us to do? As you think about establishing a church budget, a good beginning point is to think about your church's vision. What is God calling you to be and what is He calling you to do? And then from that, as you think about those questions, begin to develop your budget. Often we develop our budget based on the question, what did we spend last year? What can we increase or decrease this year? But the best starting point is to address what the church's vision is and to establish a budget that supports and furthers that vision. A second component is that of budget development. How do you, how do you put together a budget? I would encourage you to secure a couple of resources that are available to Kentucky Baptist Convention churches at no cost. And one of those resources is a resource called Building a Budget Bridge for the Kingdom. A second resource is called a Budget Toolbox for Churches. Both of these resources will help you in, in developing a budget, anywhere from beginning to meet with ministry leaders to actually uh, starting to promote it to the congregation. The third component is that of promotion, budget promotion. So I want to share with you just some, some ideas on how to promote your budget. A lot of times we don't do a good job at budget promotion. We, we just simply present it in a business meeting and that's, that's all the promotion that our budget receives. But there are a number of things that you can do to communicate to people all that you do through your church and all that you're supporting through the church budget. Uh, one idea is to have a, a, an international or North American missionary or a state missionary come and speak at your church. After all, part of your budget is going to be devoted toward missions. You might even conduct a conference call by phone with an international missionary. Perhaps this missionary is not one who can be present in your congregation, but you could arrange a phone line and a speaker and you could uh, ask questions to an international missionary and the, and the people in your congregation in a worship service could be a part of that. A great way to promote your, your, your church budget, particularly the missions component. A second idea is uh, to devote a Wednesday prayer service to different segments of your budget. And so for a period of time, you might pray for uh, the staff support portion of your budget. And then you might move into a time where you would actually pray for the missions component of your budget. You might move into a prayer time where you're praying for the evangelistic ministries that are supported through the church budget. So these are just a few ideas uh, among many that you could apply in, in, in promoting your church budget. So as you think about uh, developing a good strategy for uh, budget promotion, uh, just think about vision alignment, think about uh, good development practices, and think about how to promote it well. For more information about developing a church budget, please contact the Church Development Team office at the number on the screen or visit us at our website at www.kybaptist.org. Thank you.